Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy, welcome to Chernus, welcome to the Green Mountain trading post that we've created up here in this uh, neutral part of the map. But in today's video, I want to show you how can, you can use uh, these babies, combination locks, in order to secure um, your base, or in this case, a simple kind of lockup that uh, Moxie has helped me create here uh, with uh, with this fence. So, well, it's a gate, isn't it, that, that he's helped. Well, and a big shout out to Moxie for basically showing me how to use combination locks. So, what we've got here is we've created, we've built this uh, this gate in order to secure this area here where I've got a couple of barrels and I've got some chests to, to store goodies in. Um, but again, how, how do you secure it? So, what we're going to do is if we just close this door here, we're going to pick up one of these combination locks. Now, they come in two flavours at the moment, a three dial and uh, foil four dials so let's uh, pick up the four dial one and if you look in the bottom left hand corner you'll see that the combination is set to one 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 that's the default um lock so that i can actually use this uh to lock things up um and it will um it will uh, be at one 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 one. But we don't want that because everybody knows that. We want to change the combination. And the way they did we do that is we use the right trigger button. And uh, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but if you look down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you'll see that the brackets around the numbers moving. So it's around the first one, and then the second one, third, fourth, and then back to the first one. And to change the combination, we change it while it's in our hand. So let's say we want to change it to 9876, say. So what you do is you hold the right trigger and you count it out. So we're at 1, so we're going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, listening to the click. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right. So that's now gone to 9. So we just click on the right trigger. And all I'm doing is holding. So now we want to go to 8, so it's... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take my finger off, so it's eight. Tap R2. Again, it'll be right trigger on the Xbox. And then we go, so we want to go to seven, so it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you go too far, you can just keep going. And then we want six on the next one, so we hold this. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've gone to seven, so I've gone too far, so we need to go, to go past eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there we go. So it is now set to nine, eight, seven, six. So if I lock something now, like this gate, if we just walk up to it, this can be a bit fiddly. This sometimes, but you tend to walk up to the fence and just kind of look down, and then you want to get at attached. Now, you'd think you'd attach it there, wouldn't you, where where the uh, combination lock ends up? But if you're here, nothing really happens. You have to walk to the kind of middle. And then you'll get look down and it'll say R2 attached. We just press R2, and the combination lock goes over here, which is a bit odd, I always think. And then if we look at it, you can now see that the numbers are randomised. So so our combination is nine eight seven six, but it's gone to four zero eight seven. So that is now locked. Now, doesn't mean people can't get in. You know, they could come up and they could smash this fence up with their axe. Really, it's just going to keep honest people out. Um, but I mean you could upgrade the the gate you know metal and, and that sort of stuff and I guess if you had a base and you're inside you'd hear them bashing away with their axes but so so now what we want to do is we want to get in so as you can see now instead of being on the, the right trigger we're now using square on PlayStation it would be X on the Xbox and we just press the square button to move the brackets from number to number like that and then we hold it to change it. So we need to change it to nine. So it's on four. So we're going to press and hold square. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. Tap it square to get to the next one. Now it's eight, isn't it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tap it to get to the next one. Now it's six. So it's nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tap it to get to this one and nine. Oh no, I've, I've silly me. One more doing. So that should be seven. Seven. Tap it to get to. So this is six. So now we go eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now when I'm saying ten, obviously I mean zero. Now you probably heard the click. The combination lock is gone and it's now on the floor. 
see it's down there so we want to um, pick it up put it on a knapsack and now if we go up to here ba -ba -ba, it's now open and we can now close it and then we can again go over here look down attach our combination locks back on and if we look at it again you'll see the numbers have randomized so it's a really cool way of locking things up now you can't use combination locks on that many things but it'll be interesting to see how date as daisy develops whether you'll be able to attach them so okay so you can see you shouldn't be able to attach them to that door but you should be able to because there's two handles so you could put a combination lock around that but it doesn't let you and then if we go over to these big gates here again it gives doesn't give me an option to attach it we may well find that combination lots become more useful and will work on different things in case you were wondering actually how do you lock other doors one th thing you can do is if you have a lock pick like this you can lock doors so if I press R2 there we go, and then we put that back in. Now, <laughs> we can't open the door. So we've now got to get our lock pick out. And then we can unlock the door. And now we can open it. The thing is though, is that if you use a lock pick to lock a door, anybody else who has got a lock pick can, uh, can open it. And also when the server resets, the door will be open anyway so they're kind of they're, they're only good for short term things you know if you really want to lock somewhere up what you need to do is, is build build a gate and then lock it with a combination lock so there we go hopefully that's been useful help, help you to secure your loot on Chernerus in DayZ on the PlayStation and on the Xbox remember if you've got any other questions about playing this game put them in the boxes down below again another big shout out to Moxie for basically showing me how to do this <laughs> he's very very patient and uh, yeah thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you all again soon